all my creative friends. I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com and I am here with day two of Stamp Nation's birthday bash. Today's challenge is to make a masculine card. So I chose a stamp from Whimsy Stamps. They're one of our sponsors this week and this may seem like an odd stamp set to choose for a birthday card but I thought this would be perfect for creating my own background. Now I have need of a lot of masculine cards especially for teenage boys and it is difficult to find paper that will work. But with this stamp set, I can create my own background paper. So what I'm going to do here is take this wire mesh and I just want partial stamping on my paper. But you could create an entire mesh background with this because it has, um, it's just made so that it interlocks and connects with itself. You'll see what I mean here after I stamp my first image, hopefully. Um, it kind of has open spaces at the top and the sides. Do you see that? And when you put the stamp next to itself or on top of itself, you can line it up and have it match perfectly. Of course, with my background, I don't even care if it's perfect. I just wanted partial stamping. I'm kind of going across one way and then at a diagonal down the other direction. But it is nice to have that option if you wanted to create an entire background and have everything line up perfectly. I didn't know this stamp set did that, so I was super impressed. By the way, I used some um, Smoky Slate ink from Stampin' Up! and Whisper White cardstock also from Stampin' Up! The panel, I believe it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to trim it down, um, but I think I just made it to start out with the size of a card front. Here I'm going to take the ink spots, some of them, there are several different ink splats on this in the stamp set, and that's probably why it's called Distress Backgrounds and Ink Splats. <laughs> My second color here is Sierra Sahara Sand. What I do is I stamp off on a piece of scrap paper, and then I stamp onto my um, page turning it different ways as I go so that it doesn't look so uniform. I want it to look very random and like coffee stains or dirt got splattered on my background. Then I'm going to pull out a different ink splat. These are just a little bit smaller and I have here basic gray which is a darker gray. Again I'm going to stamp off and stamp and then turn my stamp and move it as I ink up my background. This stamp set comes with a brush stroke line that I thought would be a nice anchor to my sentiment. So I'm just going to stamp it down there at the bottom in Simon Says Stamp Ink. It's uh, called Slate. It's kind of a green gray. And it's really interesting to see how all these different shades of gray come together on this card. Whimsy Stamps sent each of the design team members this cute little uh, birthday stamp along with a birthday die. I've been using uh, both of them actually a lot this week. I love the font on this. It's just a little nice script and it's a nice skinny line. I cut it, die cut it out with my Big Shot and um, basic black cardstock. And then I used some medical tape to hold it in place, but you can use washi tape or painter's tape, any kind of low tack tape that will just hold all the pieces in place while I squished it with that Versamark ink. And here I am with some clear embossing powder. I'm just putting it over the die cut, over that ink. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to set it. I just love the magic of this. It makes the sentiment really shiny and pop out, but you could totally skip this step and just use a, the die cut. I peel off that tape at a 45 degree angle, and then I'm keeping it because there's a little dot for the eye, and I didn't want to lose it. Now that I have the die cut, I can position it so that I know exactly where I want to stamp. And I'm going to do a little stamp surgery. I do not do this very often. I don't like to separate my stamps. But this one has little stars at the bottom, and I know that I could use the stars separately. But I also knew that I didn't really want stars on this particular card. So I just carefully cut that from the sentiment, and then I'll put it back onto my sheet. And if I ever want to, I know that I can put it back together again. This was really easy to do, but if you didn't want to cut your stamps apart, you could just mask off the part that you don't want inked. So here I have some VersaFine ink, and I inked up my stamp, 
and it's stamped pretty well. I've stamped with this particular stamp several times, so I know that it gets good coverage, but I really wasn't getting very good coverage with my ink, and I discovered that something was actually wrong with my ink pad, and it was pulling up the fibers from it. I don't know if it was dry or what, but I ended up getting another ink pad after I filmed this. But I stamped it once, and I didn't like it, so I stamped again. And then I use clear embossing powder. I always do that when I use Versafine. It's Versafine Black Onyx ink. And then I heat set it because otherwise this particular ink tends to smear on me. So I did that and then I was looking at it and go, oh, actually it looks pretty good. And then I noticed that the whole lotta started not quite going right. So I thought, you know, I'll just try stamping one more time over it, see if I can kind of fix it. And then I'm like, nope, I don't like it. So I wiped it off. Oh, that's where the mistake happened. When I wiped it off, it smeared all over the place. And I thought, well, I could start all over again. Or, this is a distress card. I'm just going to grab one of my inks. I think I did a smoky slate here and a sponge. And then I used some of that slate from Simon's Says Stamp. And I just really distressed the heck out of it and um, called it good. It's a distress background. It works. You know, it's kind of grungy. I live in the um, Seattle, Washington area. It really does work. Here I have some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. That's what I'm using to adhere my sentiment down. I'm just using very little glue, but I'm putting dots all over. And then using my um, tweezers to put the into place. And then I'll add a little dot of glue where I want my um, dot for my eye to go. All that's left is to assemble the card. So I have a Sahara Sand card base, just a standard card base. My white panel has been cut down to three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And then I've got a strip of basic gray card stock. It's one of the stamp colors I use from Stampin' Up. And it's one quarter of an inch by five and a half inches. And I'm just going to use the same Tombow Mono Multi Glue to adhere each of these pieces. And as I press it down, I'm also pressing it up against that white panel, and that helps me get it really straight and even. I have some washi tape here. I really like this washi tape. It's super skinny. You can tear it. You can cut it. You can fold it. You can peel it back off without ruining your paper. It's black and white, so it works with masculine cards and feminine cards. It works with watercolor. Anyways, I really like it. Made by Little B. And then uh, my last step is to take these little metal dots. They're from Cloud9 Designs, and I'm just going to adhere a few of them onto my card around my sentiment. And that completes my first masculine card. I hope you enjoyed it. I have another masculine card up at Stamp Nation today. It's exclusive to Stamp Nation. And I used the same stamps, but a little bit different colors and a little bit different layout. I hope that you'll head on over there to check it out. I'll have more information on Stamp Nation and the birthday bash and how you can join on today's blog post. If you're watching on YouTube, I will have a link for you down below. If you like this video and want to see more from me, be sure and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you again. Thank you, Whimsy Stamps, for sponsoring. You have been a dream to work with, and I can hardly wait to work with you again. Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope that you find some time today to get a little bit creative. Bye!